What's going on guys, Lord Respawn here, welcome to another Animal Crossing video. So in this video we are talking about all of the fish, bugs, and sea creatures that are leaving at the end of September. So you want to catch these before October begins. So let's jump right into it for the Northern Hemisphere. So we're going to do it right on the Gritterpedia, switching things up this go around if you've watched my previous ones. But we're going to start with fish. We're losing 23 fish this month at the end of this month first up you got the crawfish any any time of day as you can see won't be able to catch it until uh april next you want to catch a crawfish in the pond next up you have the soft shell turtle august and september only uh 4 p.m to about 8 9 a.m so make sure you catch that then we have the sweet fish Pretty common all day, July through September. Next up, we have the salmon. Only catch it during this month. These are really, really common, so I'm sure that you guys already have this, as well as the king salmon. A little bit rarer, but honestly, not really that much. Next up, we have the nibblefish. As you can see here, only May through September. Very, very short time frame in the river. Going to be that very, very small... Um, shadow and then we have the piranha next june through september it kind of goes sp sporadic throughout the day uh, i actually found the best method is catching this on a deserted island so make sure you take a few trips that way then we have the arowana guys we're losing a lot of good fish here uh june through september uh again most of these like rare crazy river fish i recommend going to a deserted island so the arowana we're losing the Dorado, same thing. We're losing the Gar, catch it in a pond. I, I found, you know, I, I found a lot of these on my island, I must say. We're losing the Arapaima, one of my favorite fish in the game. And we're also losing the Saddled Bircher, Bircher, I don't know how to say it, but I, I had to go to a deserted island. I've only caught two of these in my entire Animal Crossing New Horizons life, uh, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Then we get over to some of the uh, ocean fish. We're losing the clownfish. We're losing Nemo. We're losing Dory. Uh, you know, the surgeon fish. Great fish. We're losing the butterfly fish. Really common any time of year. Comes back in April. Then we're also losing the puffer fish. Only July through September. So this is really just a summer only fish. Any time of day, you should be able to pick one of these up pretty easily. We're also losing the blue marlin but only for a month as you can see it comes back in november so it just won't be catchable in october and then all of the sharks are gone until next summer so saw saw shark gone hammerhead gone great white shark gone and the whale shark gone it, it's a sad day and then also the sucker fish is gone as well with the sharks so that's all the fish that are leaving guys let's go over to the bugs okay we're, we're losing a lot here too so we're losing 18 different bugs starting off with the tiger butterfly as you can see here in the winter months you just cannot catch it um it's just it's just not there uh then we're also losing the emperor butterfly one of my favorites comes back in december Jumping over to the, I guess it's the Agrius butterfly. Uh, losing this guy until April. We're losing the Raja Brook. So we're losing a lot of the good butterflies. Uh, this one's only until December, so it comes back. Queen Alexandria's Birdwing until next May. So that's kind of a hit because that is a great butterfly worth a lot of bells. Also losing the Atlas Moth until April. And the Madagascan sunset moth until april as well a little easier here we're losing the grasshopper until next july i think everybody probably has a grasshopper and then we're also losing the walker cicada which is going to be right here which is just an august and september bug so hopefully you pick that up somewhat common um uncommon on trees so make sure you pick that we also lose the pond skater like the sound you're going to catch it on the pond it's going to be skating on there uh we're losing the the diving beetle until may the giant water bug i really don't like these things so i'm not mad about that leaving 
Um, and then we're also losing, here it is, the Rosalia Batesi Beetle. I was pretty excited when this came in May, but, you know, I guess we just got to wait to see it next May. It's been fun. It's been fun, right? And we're losing the Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Not so boring. Pretty vibrant. We're also losing a Goliath Beetle, which I have not registered on this account. But we're losing the Goliath Beetle and we're losing the Rainbow Stag. Goliath is going to be the same thing. You're going to catch it on palm trees. But uh, Rainbow Stag, Goliath, gone. And then the Walking Leaf also gone makes you look for furniture like things on the ground and then a mosquito honestly thank the lord that mosquitoes are gone i absolutely despise them so that is all the bugs leaving in the northern hemisphere let's go over to the sea creatures so first up we're losing the sea grapes uh pretty common most of these are really common uh that we're losing there's only one uh rare and i'll touch on that in a minute uh we're losing the sea urchin any time of day we're losing the uh, Slate Pencil Urchin, again, pretty much any time of day for this guy. Moon Jellyfish, rather uh, common, July through September. We're losing, this is a rare one. We're losing the the, the gig, Gigas, Gigas, I don't know how to say it, the Giant Clam. Uh, it's going to be super fast, really big. Going to be, you're going to have to corner it in, in one of the corners and able to, if you want to catch this. Uh, but it's a really, really cool uh, addition to the museum and your house or your island. Very, very cool. Make sure you pick it up. And we're losing the tiger prawn, which is a, a shrimp, right? I mean, it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's got some cool colors on it. We're also losing the horseshoe crab. It's going to be medium in size, medium speed, somewhat common, I would say. I've, I've caught a few of them. Uh, and the flatworm as well. Not coming back till August. This is going to be extra small. Uh, make sure you pick that up. So, guys, that is everything for the Northern Hemisphere. Um, I'm going to uh, go over Southern Hemisphere in a minute. But if you're from the Northern Hemisphere, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I will catch you all on the next one. Now, let's go to the Southern Hemisphere. All right, guys, let's talk about the Southern Hemisphere real quick. So, this is everything, all the fish, uh, bugs, and sea creatures that are leaving in the Southern Hemisphere. So, starting off with fish. We are losing at the top, as you can see, the sturgeon and the stringfish, two amazing fish, two of my favorite fish in the game. Uh, unfortunately, you guys are losing them, but bitterling, yellow perch, stringfish, obviously catching on the cliff top. definitely go to an island for that. Sturgeon, river mouth, just catch a bunch of them, they're amazing and worth a ton. Sea butterfly and the football fish in the ocean, check those out. Next up, we're losing one bug this month for the southern hemisphere, the emperor butterfly, Make sure you catch it at night. It, it literally it kind of glows blue. It's an amazing color on the screen. And finally, sea creatures, you guys lose the red king crab, and that is it. Uh, it seems pretty difficult to catch, so best of luck on that. But guys, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, for more Animal Crossing content, keep it right here. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I will catch you all on the next video. Later!